Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here yet again with another very interesting video for you guys today. Now before I get into anything regarding this video as usual, I do want to let you all know that all relevant information will be provided in the description down below for everybody to take a look at just in case you guys are interested. Now when it comes to this article that I do want to share with you guys, I have to say that this article is absolutely hilarious because it involves a Christian apologist who basically thinks that all atheists are, are wounded theists who hate God. <laughs> you know what really bugs me the most about these individuals? And I'm talking about the Matt Slicks of the world. I'm talking about the Bible-thumping weenuts of the world. And I'm talking about the Saitan Bruggenkates of the world. Is the fact that they constantly say that we actually know that this alleged God exists. And all we are doing is just being sinners and we are being rebellious, if you will. Now, typically, I always find these claims that they are making to be absolutely ridiculous. And they continue to be ridiculous as each day goes by. The problem that I have with all of this is the fact that these individuals have this genuine belief in this fairy tale. And it is so severe that they constantly think that they are right, despite the evidence to the contrary. They don't pay attention to truth. They don't pay attention to evidence. They don't pay attention to anything else for that matter because of this genuine belief in a fairy tale. Now, in many ways, this type of thing can actually literally get offensive when you attempt to interact with these individuals because they obviously don't want a calm, rational discussion. And even after you have a discussion with these individuals, they will basically take it upon themselves to basically talk behind your back and do everything they can within their power to try and smear you and your name. These people are ridiculous. And this individual, this Christian apologist within this article, is the exact same way. He likes to misrepresent atheists and he just likes to talk a lot of shit, spew a lot of diarrhea out of his mouth and he expects a lot of people to believe it, but we can clearly see within this article that this individual is completely ridiculous, and not only that, he is delusional. Now, earlier this year, Christian apologist and scandal magnate Danish Dezua spoke at a church in Florida about the new atheists. So you knew this was going to be a disaster. <laughs> The article also talks about Duzua beginning by saying the new atheists are more like evangelical atheists because they want converts, whatever that means. Now, this individual, like many others within Christianity, failed to understand why we atheists do what we do in this country. They fail to understand that the moment that these individuals think that it's okay to implement their religious nonsense into society, we are going to be there to combat these horrible ideas. And this is something that they do need to realize. I am not trying to convert anybody. I am not trying to get anybody to come to atheism. I just want to share my discussions. I want to have a rational discussion. I want to share ideas. I want to do all of these things that are necessary to have a good talk with somebody. I am not trying to convert anybody into anything. And that's where a lot of these Christians like this guy get everything wrong. Because they right away want to assume the worst of atheists. You know, because they obviously think that atheists are horrible people that we don't have any foundation for morality when completely there is evidence to the contrary. It is them that do not have any evidence at all to back up any of their ridiculous claims, but they are so delusional that they will continue to push forth these diatribes, if you will, and they expect everybody to believe it when that isn't going to happen, you know, plain and simple. The fact is that anyone who's passionate about any cause wants people to agree with him. People like Richard Dawkins are no different. He'll put forth his case for why God doesn't exist, hoping that you'll find his explanation persuasive, and that's it. He doesn't want you to give him money or treat him like a god. And I have to agree with the friendly atheist here. These Christians are absolutely delusional when it comes to interactions with atheists in this country. 
they have an agenda that they want to meet, they have a narrative that they want to push, and they really don't give a shit about the truth at all in any way, shape, or form. We see examples of this all over this country. We see examples of this all over YouTube. And this is the typical behavior that is displayed by Christians to the point where it's literally disgusting. It literally turns my stomach to see these individuals speak. That is how bad they really are. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with trying to convince people you are right. And again, I have to agree with the friendly atheist here. Everyone does it, plain and simple. And that's something that you Christians need to realize. You're not the only ones that have a voice here. Welcome to reality, plain and simple. But when atheists do it, Christians are like this guy in this article have a heart attack. Apparently, according to people like this, we atheists are supposed to keep our mouth shut. We cannot say anything about anything. <laughs> well, I have news for you, idiot. I'm going to continue to talk about these things. I'm going to continue to combat religion. And that's all there is to it. And I'm pretty sure that there are atheists out there who will actually agree with me. And that's how I feel about it. He also mocks the idea that atheists are now so vocal about this topic. To him, that makes us missionary atheists. <laughs> This guy is literally ridiculous, and I want to take an opportunity to read an entry from this religious individual to you guys, and then you will see an incredible amount of idiocy within this post. If they were just regular unbelievers, then you would think they wouldn't bother too much about it. Why write books like The God Delusion, God is Not Great, if they didn't believe in God, if they thought God was a myth, it would be similar to you or I believing that unicorns are a myth. But you'll notice that we don't go around writing books called Unicorns Are Not Great, The Unicorn Delusion. We don't spend a lot of our time thinking about unicorns. We just kind of let kind of let them be is what he's saying basically but these guys are just as obsessed about god as any of us in this audience <laughs> can you guys see the incredible amount of idiocy that is within this entry made by this christian individual let me tell you something you pathetic individual and i'm going to be honest and i'm going to be brutal here because it needs to happen right the reason why a lot of us atheists are so vocal in this country is because of the fact that we see the negative impact that religion has in this country when it comes to a lot of things we see a lot of people being discriminated against because of this fairy tale we see a lot of people literally have their lives ruined because of this religion. You individuals want to go across the country shooting your mouth off without providing any kind of evidence at all in any way, shape, or form. This religion of yours is affecting a lot of people in a negative way, and a lot of us are going to be there to combat it. Plain and simple. This is something that you're going to have to get used to. I don't know how many times I have to say that. And this is why Christians in this religion of theirs really piss me off. Because they honestly don't want to have any kind of discussion, right? They think that all of the rights belong to them. They don't think atheists should speak. They think that we should remain silent. They think the LGBTQ community should have no rights. They think that women should have no rights. They think all of these things that are completely harmful for society. They want to implement them in society. So when you Christians try to do these things, we are going to be vocal about it. We are going to be there to combat you every step of the way because you are trying to implement this fairy tale within society and you guys are too blind to see that it is actually harming people you guys don't really care because you are so fixated in this fairy tale that it's not even funny anymore. 
you guys just basically want a theocracy. You guys just want the opportunity to spew your religious narrative, and you want people to accept it like if it's truth, when in all actuality, that is not going to happen. You need to realize that, you Bible-thumping weenuts of the world, you Matt Slicks of the world, need to realize that. You Cy Ten Bruggenkates of the world need to realize that. This delusion is harmful to society. And that's all I have to say about this. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and we'll see you later.